is going on people welcome back johnny here and we are playing some rim world again this is the dwarves in space squats if you will <laughs> the rim hammer dwarves are trying to get off this planet where they ended up and we have tons of crops now there's an injured Ooh, wait i should check our plants our animals, I mean. And we have a fair amount of meat laying about. Until a bloody cold snap happens or something, but... How's that bear? He looks pretty well injured. Bruises. Oh well. Alright. Well, we have some pack animals. We're making some meals. We need pack and survival meals. Then get the hell out of here. We're working on prosthetics so we can get the bionics. And we have some extra bedrooms. Should we need to imprison anybody? But, we're trying to keep this colony not too big. Our caravan sadly won't make it over here. <laughs> Raider presence, low. 2.1 days. Look how beat up they are. Guess we can make sure we have gear there. Yeah, okay. Everybody's armed. Has at least pants on. <laughs> um, do we have room for all this stuff? Jeez Louise. Oh wait. Cancel these. What do we have? Unhappy nudity. Break risks to our people on the road. Not unusual there. 28 days, yeah, we just made way too much food, but maybe we'll get a bulk goods trader or something. Make sure everybody has a weapon here. It's an interesting mix of Warhammer Dwarf, Imperial, <laughs> and just this stinky old sword. So we can make something else in terms of a sword. I keep seeing stuff flying by over here. <laughs> So we tried to make an eviscerator and didn't do that good of a job. So our regular sword ended up being better than it. In terms of DPS. This is... Hmm. Maybe just because the DPS is lowered doesn't mean it's a worse weapon. I mean, the description of it is pretty badass in all honesty. We are going to be just... Ooh, it's got cool sound effects too. So there's that. Alright, you cats. I'm sick of this unhappy nudity. Oh. Loot. Gear. Okay, so apparently we don't have any dwarven shirts. <laughs> I should probably get on top of that straight away. I bet our tailor's out on the road. Mm -hmm. Alright, well it is what it is. Corneal the Beast Hunter is fully healed. That's nice. So we are probably going to get attacked by the beast before too long here. And once we start making meals more, we use up a ton of this. We should probably get somebody two percent chance. It's JT here. JT's on the road anyway. He's our main hunter. I'll be back shortly though. Frederick, clean up the trash, sir. I want to see somebody cooking. Alright, good. We're making package survival meals now. Is this thing frozen? Mm, it's got some time. Why don't you just go all the way over there with those things? Oh, must be a night owl. Dirtles on it. Very nice. Alright. Well, things seem to be going pretty well here. Might be time that we built. Seamus is on a sad wander, and that's okay. He's in intense pain. Sounds about right for Rim Hammer, in all honesty. Let's go see what their health issues are. Arctic foxes. Yeah, that's right. Our caravan got jacked by a bunch of foxes. 
What's our animal zone looking like? Mm, they look okay. Just debating on taming some more buffalo, but if we had to make it through another winter here, that's going to be a problem. I have a male and a female horse. Doesn't tell you if they're pregnant there. It's the male. Yeah, she is late stage pregnant. There's our bug problem over there. <laughs> yeah, we've dealt with these okay, though. Yeah, major break risk must be JT. But we are cooking through the meat and the veggies pretty stinking fast. Once we start butchering, we'll have to get done with all this stupid fat that's going to pop out of that thing, too. Look at all this stuff we got. <laughs> um... um, um yeah, might have over, holy shit, overmade that. It's a, there's got to be a formula with the, with the rim world. I always either starve to death or have so much food in storage. It's completely absurd. Well, Seamus is no longer wandering in sadness. Come on, you dudes, we need to make some shit happen here. Get back home. <laughs> Another thing, I wish you could see your current range on those things, because oh, now their caravan's out of food, and they're point three days away. Well, that's okay. We have tons of food here. So just take... Oh, frozen now. 52 outside. It's because no one's opening the door. So if they leave the doors closed, this stays frozen. That's good. That's a party spot. And there's nobody research happening either. That's why, that's the downside of the caravan. All right, major break risk. Yeah, yeah. I bet they're just getting freaking hungry now. Yeah, everybody's food is in the toilet. Oh, hurry up and get home. It's these stupid mountains we're walking through. Hey, JT's fully healed. Hey, that was a good timing to be fully healed. <laughs> if we could just get Seamus to heal up. Yeah, buddy. Alright, do we only have one animal on caravan there? There's some deer. No one's doing the last bit of hunting I set up, so it probably doesn't matter too much. I got some more guns. Alright, let's see. Animals. Well, you're unrestricted, which is... Oh no, we have two mares. Okay, good. right about to run out of freaking oh interesting the stuff we choose to bring back alright somebody come get this stuff put away what is that a bionic arm very nice alright well shit should really pick up now should actually see everything getting done can we do something with this masterwork chair there Beautiful. Nice big soft floofy chair. We have fire foam poppers, which we already have one in there. Where's the most important spot to store this? Probably in here, right? Let me put one in there. I think I saw another somewhere. This we're probably just gonna sell. One in there. That's not good. You bros. He's gonna go kill our horse. Alright, who's... Okay, we probably should make you do it. Ah, shit. And that's why we have these rooms. And why did he snap? Wreck deprived. Well, that sucks for you. Alright, it worked. You're gonna escort... Sometimes you can just set him free at the last minute and everything's okay and you don't get a penalty for having imprisoned him. See, it worked. Good deal. Now, go do some rack boner. Somebody get these shitty pants out of the doorway. 
Is this zone in the doorway? Yeah, what a dip. There you go. Alright, we're getting our shirts made. We've struck mineable saltpeter somewhere, which clearly was intentional. We have basic dwarven shirts again, so loot Seamus and Corneal. Should I'll get their bloody shirts on. Oh, you don't have pants now. Bloody hell. Yeah, these doors go through clothes like nobody's business, man. Look, we have some worn out armor. Still making Kim fuel, which is fine. We have tons of wood. Seamus. Laid up in the hospital here. Got more bloody material coming in. We have some space in the textile area, though. <laughs> here, here's an extra gun we can set up somewhere. Steel mini turret. Last time they got in over here. Let's put that one there. Let's put this one... Oh, they blow up once in a while, so that's probably why it's not against this wall. And this we can probably just deconstruct. I don't think anybody's going to buy it off us. That looks like all the goodies we brought home. I'd like to make a better spot for the animals, but... What is this? Oh my god. Can we get that thing moved? That was a reward for the quest. It's just sitting in the bloody dirt. At least it's in a box, so it's not spoiling. A grom roll. We're going to have to deconstruct that. <laughs> That's going to be worth way too much. Alright, we got two people, hopefully, making meals wide open. These these meals should help with our attitude issues a bit. Alright, Seamus seems to be hauling a little... That's all he's doing is wasting his time hauling shit. But no one's moving this. Why is no one moving that? No empty, accessible spot to haul it. So let's go see what that's about. Buildings? So I must have added a mod in. I did add Dwarven Blasting. We can play with that. Temperature, Misc, Furniture. Interesting. Okay, well. Clearly I've been adding and removing mods because that's what you get. Holy shit, Corneal. He's in bad, bad shape now. Where's Wake? He's right there. She's right there. Okay. Psychic Soothe. That's good. Hopefully this dude doesn't die. Two hours. That Can we not just not take that path anymore? Maybe? They all take that path. Every one of them. Hmm. What if we... Forbid that door. If they start going through here, I'm going to have a fit. No, okay, now they're going this way. Because there's too many traps. Hey, a combat supplier. Trade ship. Very nice. Bio. I need a talker. Alright. Good, we have a ton of shit we can sell, too. There's a junky auto pistol. I'm going to keep that steel longsword for now. Might not be worthwhile, but we could smelt all this stuff, but we have so much steel it doesn't bloody matter. Frag grenades, thunderer rifles kind of worn out. Those flag pants will keep. This is worn out. Okay, we can get some more Cadian gear for our humans. We have so much silver. There's a rod of flaming death. That's a single shot. Explosive round. There's a slugger. <laughs> if we want to go orc with it. Which we don't. Coal. I'm going to buy meds too. Yeah. Alright, let's buy some meds. Eh, you know what? I have 163. I'm going to let that go. I don't really know what can be worn with what here. So there's a Cadian flak helmet. It's poor. They might not wear it if it's poor, but we'll see what happens. Alright, let's just buy it all. 
think Awake oh, doesn't have a helmet yet. Let's buy that other helmet as well. This one. Boom. There's some dwarven armor, but it's kind of shit. Ironbreaker armor is awesome, though. All right. Where'd everything land? Let's get those moved. Let's get that moved. Wake. Now let's see your gear's got you good till only 19 degrees. That's going to be problematic. So Ethan, wherever the hell he just went, they run around so bloody fast on you. Where'd all that armor go? Are you carrying it? Uh, I guess we'll have to wait till it shows up in here. Um, the this zone is going to need a little expansion as well. Probably going to have more package survival meals than this too. We do have eight regular meds already that I'm not using, so there's that. Corneal. You know what? We do have a bionic arm. And you are missing your right shoulder. Oh shit. He's got no legs. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> it's not Lieutenant Dan. This was Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Who was a patron for a while. Oh god. You better not be horrible at this. Eight with a double passion. We're going to have to get him peg legs. And we're going to have to see if we can track down some legitimate legs. That's terrible. Just terrible. Are we exposing overhead mountain? Not yet. Now this. Do we take it apart? What's the value on something like that? 1700 bucks. It's problematic. I think we're just going to deconstruct it for now. Grabro's too valuable for that. There's a, okay, where did Ethan go? When you get up... Force wear that. I don't know if he can wear all, all this stuff at once, but we'll see what happens. If not, actually it looks like this is just better than this. It has more coverage. So our humans will be these nice Imperial Guardies. <laughs> and the dwarves will look like Warhammer Dwarfs. That's great. And Corneal. What happened to Seamus? It's dirty Arctic Foxes, man. Oh, he's got his peg legs now. At least he can move when he finally recovers a bit. Seamus is fully healed. Fair amount of chem feel. Oh, jeez. Can we... Not let this stuff sit out. There we go. Well, cheers to the patrons. Dirtle Dave, Cornel B, JT, Seamus, Henry Wallace, Michael Rakestraw, Wake Mata, Ethan Dees, Frederick, Dapper Go, also Dom, and Alexander. You guys are awesome. Okay, no, he is wearing both, right? Dude is kitted out. Fantastic. I do have to rename some pawns, right? I think actually everybody's named after patrons at the minute. Or Ertman, who bought me a shit ton of coffees over on Ko-Fi. Alright, well we are making our way through all this stuff. We got two bros cooking wide open, so... I think we'll do okay. Look, where did Corneal go? He's not moving too fast, but he's moving. Who should be researching? This is what we need to have happening right now. Our cook is a researcher. Alright. Eclipse is on. That's okay. So what are you doing? You are constructing, but there's not a lot to construct. I like the fact that you're cleaning, though. We need to keep people... Oh. We just made another Cadian flak helmet, too. That's fantastic. It's right there. It's poor. Our people suck at making stuff. So let's put some armor. See, we need somewhere else to store shit. Again. 
because we have so much bloody food right now. I guess we're just going to let it go. Um, you know, one thing we can do to speed this shit up is do that. Do that. There's a light there. It's going to be moved. We'll reinstall that. Over there. And then copy this and paste it here. And we should be able to haul some meat. JT's going to do some hunting now. That's good. Somebody didn't have a gun because they went down as soon as they came in. Corneal doesn't have a gun. Corneal is definitely a shooter. Now, I'm a little bit afraid of the plasma gun. <laughs> it looks impressive. I'm going to give you that. It is going to blow up and cause damage. Alright, everybody is armed. I didn't even hear him shooting. Apparently he didn't. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> So, okay, maybe we don't have him set to hunt anymore. JT, there you go. It's been crafting instead of hunting. There's your issue. Oh, let's get those put away. Is that JT? Yeah, we're going to go do some hunting right now. Don't get too close. Where are you going, buddy? He's going. What happened? Why'd you give up? <laughs> I don't understand. Well, you gotta kill something for us, buddy. There's one. Somebody come get that. He just wants to go to bed. This is a dangerous game with the moods around here. And the way that the elk have damn near wiped out the colony before. That's also something that should be noted right now. And that's why we get the hell out of Dodge. Um, why does it look like they're catching him really fast? Son of a bitch. <laughs> JT. We don't have anybody else with a gun over here. Frederick, you might as well not get yourself killed by these bastards. Yep, he's boned. Oh, God. All right, you know what? If we go in with the eviscerator... No, this is a bad idea. He's boned. I mean, you could try and fight back a bit. Hey, <laughs> he dropped another one. He's not doing too bad. We'll be able to save his bacon here. Trying to save our traps from getting destroyed. So if we could get everybody up here somewhere, that'd be great. Use this water to our advantage. There's a deer that we could haul in. JT might just get up on his own. There's a we need weapons that aren't poor. That'd be fantastic. Alright, where are they at? Here they are. And you boy. That's why you don't mess with the Imperials, people. Alright, where's Wake? Undraft. You are going to rescue JT. Corneal, you're wounded. Seamus. Finish these dudes off. Ertman. Over here. Finish that one off. This, this might piss everybody off to be dragging them around like this, but... The rest of you... Is anybody finishing that one off? Dirtle. Finish that one off. Alright, you go in. You go in. You're standing right by a further one. Haul that in. All right, another failed attempt at hunting. Not terribly surprising the way things tend to go. I think it might be that weaponry. Seems like it's far more inclined. All right, 
you're not going to haul anything. Nowhere to put it, you say. Indeed. I buy that. All right. Now tell, tell me that shit, dude. <laughs> All right, haul. Haul. Seamus has that stuff reserved, but where is Seamus? He's way over there now. Alright, there you go. I think we got them all. Oh, we left this deer. That's okay. What are these? Oh god, our horse had babies sometime during that. Yeah, now we have two more horses with nowhere to sleep. This is a little problematic. There. Shoo! Well, cheers again to all the patrons. The rest of you, thank you very much for watching. I'd appreciate some support. Anything you can throw my way will be encouraging. I promise. <laughs> I'm working on the end game for the dwarfs right now. And it should be pretty awesome. It's a lot of effort to build a completely custom map. So it's going to take a little while. But it's been kind of fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers again to all the patrons whose names you see here. Plus some you don't, like Henry Wallace, Dappergo, Alexander, and all the rest of these gang up here. So thanks, I'll see you next time.